Hello everyone, my name is Max. I'm a food vlogger. I lived in China for about 13 years and then moved to the UK about six years ago. After moving back to the UK, some things that I've really, really missed, I think the biggest two are my friends and the second thing would be the food. I can't get over how much I miss the food because everywhere I lived, just going downstairs and the street is just full of street food, like all different restaurants and stuff. And in the UK, is a lot less of that culture and I really, really miss that. I started making videos shortly after moving to the UK. Foreigners try this traditional Chinese snack or guessing these lyrics or, you know, stuff like that. I think it's when lockdown hit is when my cooking videos started to become the main video idea and making a Chinese dish at home came to mind. My main audience is Chinese speaking people in either other Asian countries or China. Across all the platforms, all my accounts, I probably have over 3 million subscribers at the moment. I think people really like the family aspect of my videos, the relationship I have with my parents and my little brother, the little like jokes and stuff. And I think a big part of why the videos were successful at the beginning was because it was a British kid speaking fluent Mandarin, cooking Chinese food. It offers a window into, you know, my family in England, a British family culture for Chinese viewers. But I'm also spreading Chinese culture through food and through uh, traditional snacks and stuff to English people that are around me, to the British population. We eat one between lessons. Oh, we eat one after a lesson, wow. I got loads of support from my parents at the time because we just moved back and they didn't want me to forget my Chinese. Mm -hmm. Doing the videos helped me stay in touch with the culture and the language as well, so they were really happy for me to be doing that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's delicious. The flavour. Mm -hmm. Chili. I think the view of Chinese food is kind of skewed by Chinese takeaways and Chinese buffets and stuff in the UK. I know a lot of my friends, for example, or just people I speak to, their view of Chinese food isn't a very authentic view. But that's not really their fault. Uh, there's not a lot of readily available, super authentic food in the UK. Or if you go to a Chinese restaurant that does have authentic food and you're English, they'll often give you the English menu, you know, the, not the proper Chinese menu. This is called folded ear root. I've never ever seen this before. I've done a few different types of videos where I introduce traditional, authentic Chinese food and snacks to English people people who don't know much about Chinese food, like letting them try yue bing, like uh, traditional mooncakes. I did a video on that. I did a few videos where I have a few English people in the kitchen and I'm teaching them a proper Chinese dish. They teach you how to make your own chili bowl first. My friends and family that I show these Chinese dishes to, they often react in a way like, oh, I never realized you have to do all these steps or, you know, this seems so complicated and stuff. I think one Chinese dish that all people should at least try one time to make at home is smashed cucumber because it's the easiest and most fun Chinese dish to make. You literally just whack a cucumber till it falls apart and then make it into a salad. For cross-cultural understanding, I think food is a really good place to start because it's, it's one of the most accessible ways to share culture. You know, and then through that food, you can learn a lot about a country's culture. Like through English food, you can learn a lot about, you know, how international we are. Uh, but then with Chinese food, you can learn how national it is. And everywhere you go is completely different. Each place is very true to being Chinese, you know, which is kind of like the polar opposite of the UK, where the UK kind of adopts a lot of other cultures into their cuisines. Today, I'm going to be cooking mapo tofu. When people ask me where I'm from, I kind of find it hard to answer that question because growing up in China and now living in the UK, but also being from Bulgaria, so I've always felt it's a bit like, a, I guess you could say a global citizen, yeah. Chinese food is my culture, so I'd like to showcase my culture to whoever wants to see it. China is massive and there's many different styles and cuisines and cultures within China, you know. In the Western view of China, people don't understand there's a lot more to it, not just in food and culture and tradition as well. I hope to spread awareness of all the different cultures within China. I think there's a lot to share. <laughs>